Hello everyone and welcome to <coughs> This is Central America, and here's Nicaragua. Now let's have a look Aragua, shall we? The Paleo-Americans who first inhabited this land split into separate chiefdoms, and over the centuries, other peoples settled in its bounds, including the Nicarao, whom some believe the country's named after. Here are some fossilized footprints from a group of travelers about 2,000 years ago. From this evidence, we can confidently declare that people back then had feet. Now, the Nicaraguan natives lived far more humbly than their neighbors, and neither forged a great empire, nor constructed immense stone temples like the Aztecs and the Maya. In the 1500s, the Spanish stepped ashore to conquer it, which they did. Two key cities were founded early on by Francisco Hernández de Córdoba, and of course the indigenous peoples were decimated by the invasion. And for what? Gold. And after what gold there was had been pilfered, the Spanish Empire paid little attention to Nicaragua. In 1610, this volcano's eruption prompted the citizens of León to relocate further west. Here are some of the beautiful buildings they built in their new setting. León was a great rival to the city of Granada to the south. Politics was their main quibble, Leon being liberal, Granada conservative. Then, in the 1800s, Nicaragua joined surrounding nations in rebelling against Spanish rule, and became its own independent nation in 1838. And the liberals and conservatives went back to bickering and scuffling, like they always do. To help calm the situation, a new capital was declared in 1852, Managua. Now, all this was happening in the west of the land. The eastern portion had been under British influence for a long time, and they named the region the Mosquito Coast. Not because it was swarming with more of those bothersome insect draculas than your typical coast, but rather in reference to the Mosquito people. And I'm sure the word means something a lot better in their language. Anyway, this region would join with Nicaragua in 1894, during the regime of President Zelaya, whose geopolitical ambitions included the wish for a canal through his country, something that troubled the United States, who were themselves carving out a canal in Panama. And so the US began supporting Zelaya's opponents, until, under pressure, he resigned, and the US stepped in and occupied the country for over 20 years. And for what? Gold. Or money at least. The following four decades were dominated by the Somoza family, and in 1972, an earthquake toppled most of the capital. This disaster ramped up the influence of the socialist resistance movement challenging the Somozas in the Nicaraguan Revolution. They succeeded in gaining power, but were in turn faced with a revolution against themselves, again supported by the US. It was hard governing the country through the ruin and conflict, and hard governing it afterwards too. Over the years, the country made incremental improvements, and has attained a medium level of human development. And while things are not perfect in Nicaragua, it is one of the most chill and easygoing countries in Central America, lacking as it does the horrible gang violence seen in nations to the north. And it has enjoyed a welcome increase in tourism. So best of luck to Nicaragua, but as for me, it's bye for now. Bye bye!